It is the 12th of 7th, 2024. Now, if you are one of those individuals that are becoming aware of your mental health, okay, or your what we call self-aware. Now, within this group of self-aware, there is the good and the bad. Some will use their self-awareness to manipulate, deceive, lie, trick the people around them and take advantage to cause pain and suffering. And that is... It's just fucking disgusting, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You need to sort yourselves out in the nicest way possible because you are then thriving off other people's pain and suffering to make you feel better and that is just not right. And then there are the other side of it where we are aware and we are trying our hardest and we are learning and unlearning previous behaviours. And it's really hard to unlearn previous behaviour that you've carried with you for decades because that was part of your safety mechanism. It was a protective cover for you, you know, your defensive attitude or the way you spoke to people or treated people if you was in any way feeling threatened was a response to the trauma or PTSD that you are going through or have gone through. But for those people that on the other side then choose to use those purposefully and willfully to get what they want or to make themselves more comfortable and safe in their own mind by damaging those around them in the process is there are no words for it really I just don't I, I understand it but I don't understand it why when you're already suffering yourself crazily suffering with your whatever mental health condition you've got you would then try and make other people suffer so you feel comfortable and manipulate other people so you feel comfortable and deceive other people so you feel comfortable and get what you want and stuff I don't understand this now there's an individual that I know and other people know that is um, quite adapt at doing this and there are many people out there, right? There are probably thousands upon thousands, millions maybe, that do this on a daily basis. You have mental health issues and manipulate others and um, enjoy watching them squirm and squiggle, you know, when they go, well, I'm suffering from this, this and this. And, oh, oh shit, I didn't know. I'm so sorry, you know. Um, no, we shouldn't do that. If you are, be open. If you are genu genuinely, 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 having a bad time with mental health, be open because the more people who are aware and understand, the better. But at the same time, it is very important that you get diagnosed and you get diagnosed correctly and you go through, you go through the, in the UK, the system is absolutely shit, right? I Like I said in earlier videos, I'm extremely lucky to have come across, um, Dr. Jackson, and I can't express how lucky I am. It's got to be a billion and one chance that this lady is now a resident doctor at my surgery. You know, what are the chances? Really, what are the chances in the UK? That's how lucky I am. Um, but, you know, across the world in general, especially in the, the US and that, you know, you've got issues, my brothers and sisters. You go and you get that help, right? You reach out because... It's not right that you punish others and make others suffer because of what you're going through. It's not, I mean, if you're doing that and you don't realize you're doing that and someone points that out to you, make a note of it. Ask them, please tell me what I was doing. Okay. And don't get me wrong, you're going to get angry. Excuse me. You're going to get angry and you're going to get upset because someone's now addressing your behavior. And if they're doing that from, from what they would call a place of love, okay, or a place of concern, 
and your your trauma response is anger. You know, unless they understand what they're talking about, it, you'll be like, I'm not like that. Rah. But logically, if you go away and you sit down and go, well, yeah, you know what? I've probably been like that for years. That's when you're becoming self-aware. I'm self-aware, okay? And I make as much effort as possible to not put my madness, for the sake of it, on other people, right? And I'm always there to try and help other people because, ironically, that's what we people do. We help each other, believe it or not. Um, but on occasion, people who have um, complex trauma and PTSD and other stuff focus on helping other people so they don't address their own issues. But the reality for us at the end of the day is um, we've got to face them at one point. I hope I've made sense and think on it, people. If you're one of those people who are self-aware, like myself, and are going through the process now of healing and trying to address your issues and how you respond to certain types of comment when they're innocent comments and there's no malice behind them in any way, shape or form or someone's just politely pointing something out and you suddenly explode in their face, no. But if you're self-aware and someone politely points something out and you go, I really appreciate that. I didn't, I'm really sorry. I didn't realize I was doing that. That's it. Go away. Think about it. But like I said, some people will use their mental health condition to make other people suffer and make their world like shit and make people feel sorry for them. And, oh no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. They are manipulating, they are deceiving and they are lying and it's not right it takes away from the genuine people out there and there are millions of us and millions of us who are trying our hardest to reprogram learn reprogramming our behavior and it's very very hard to reprogram your behavior when you've had that behavior for decades okay for decades like myself i've had it for decades but some people have it less, but to reprogram, it's not easy. It's not easy. It takes a long time. And for those boys and girls out there that are desperately trying to do that, keep on going, keep on fighting, and you're not on your own.